be activated and the plagiarism checker attached to this. So when it is uh, when it shows you something like this, if you are using premium version, this is for premium uh, subscri uh, subscribers. But for trial versions, you will see this, they will display like this, but they will be uh, inactive. You can't activate them. So for this reason, from there again, so uh, this is a short way of uh, how you can install them into your Microsoft Office with uh, some tips attached to it. So from there, how to improve the quality of my manuscript after installing I don't know. I think, do we have a sound problem, it seems? Is it uh, everyone or only from my side? I cannot hear him anymore. I lose audio. I, lose audio. I, I, lose, I mean, I lose audio. I can't get you. Yes, I think it's from his side also. I cannot hear him. Okay, uh, I think we you cannot just uh, stay idle since he is struggling maybe with his connection before he gets it right. Let us continue with our housekeeping to keep the time. So I think one person was introducing himself. Do we have uh, Umar Shehu? Umar Shehu, you should introduce yourself, please. Okay, assalamu alaikum. It is my honor to be with you guys. I am also an academic staff, but of course not from FUD, from a sister institution, maybe Kenya University of Science and Technology. Also. Currently, a student of Agriculture, Environment, and Food Economics at the University of Reading in Accra, Kenya. Nice to be with you. Thank you very much. Uh, also, please, do we have? Uh, Idris Yana, can you introduce yourself? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Uh, yeah, my name is Idris Hamza Yana. Uh, I am an academic from Sulalaimit University, Kaffenhausa, also a sister institution to FUD. I'm currently a PhD candidate at the University of Exeter, United Kingdom. I'm doing my PhD in English literature. Thank you very much. That's great. We have uh, different guests in solidarity. Thank you very much. Uh, I have Salim Farouk. Please, can you introduce yourself? Department of Microbiology and uh, Biotechnology. Yes. Salim, can you come again, please? I think you are just unmuted. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, like I said, I'm very happy to meet you all. My name is Salim Farouk Bashir uh, from Federal University, BCA, Department of Microbiology and Biotechnology. I am currently pursuing my PhD here from lovely professional university, Punjab in India. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, Suleiman. Please, Suleiman, can you introduce yourself? Salam to all the Muslims. Okay. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu and Ramadan mubarak to all the Muslims in the house. Um, my name is Abdrahman Lawal Suleiman and uh, I am studying uh, from Federal University Dusi, the home institution, Federal University Dusi, Jigar State. Uh, I'm studying a PhD in mathematics with uh, an application in ecology and evolutionary modeling. 
at uh, Stellenbosch University, South Africa. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Nokia 2.1. You have raised your hand, but there is no name. So Nokia 2.1. This um, uh, visual uh, communication, actually, I don't know how to put the name, but uh, please pardon me. My name is uh, Baba Gana Abba. I'm a lecturer here in the Department of Accounting, Faculty of Management Sciences, Federal University, Duse. And I'm currently a PhD student at Dong Fajo University. Yeah, I really appreciate this opportunity. Thank you very much for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you very much. We also have uh, Samin Abdullahi. You have raised your hand. Samin Abdullahi. I think he raised his hand. Okay. Uh, please, if you want to, you can raise up your hand in case you want to. But uh, I'm trying still to see why Dr. Bala is gone. So while you are introducing yourselves. So I will, uh, Kalam Adilu, please, can you introduce yourself? Okay. Samin Abdullahi, are you there? Okay. Please, uh, Kalam, finish, then Samin can take over. I am Amin Musa Ahmed, a graduate from Biotechnology at Federal University. And I'm excited okay. to be here with you, Ramadan Karim Toebu. Thank you very much. Aminu? Samin Abdullahi from graduate of CPC and uh, one of you here are my lecturers from the Gaspet College of Media Studies and some at other university. So it is an honor meeting you again. Thank you very much. And Ramadan Kari. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Dr. Bella Edi, I've seen uh, your hand was raised. So no. you have something to say? <laughs> no, I, I'm just uh, doodling. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Aminu Muhammad, please, can you speak? Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan Karim Amin. Um, Ramadan Mubarak, as we all know, I'm Aminu Muhammad Abaka, popularly known as Aminu Barmay. Uh, I am from Federal University Duse. Actually, I uh, started my PhD in Uganda, where I'm doing my research in mobile cloud, secu in cloud security. Thank you all. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I just received, if we can see in the chat, all of us can see, Dr. Bala has just sent a message that uh, he had some problems but he will soon uh, join us. So while he's trying to join us, please uh, let us continue with the introduction. I've seen also uh, Umar Farooq Ahmed is uh, raising his hand. So Umar Farooq, please, can you speak? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, my name is uh, Umar Farooq Ahmed, a research fellow at the Center for Noble Research in Bayero University, Kano, at the Nuclear Division. So thank you. Uh, I'm happy to join you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Umar. We have uh, Shadrach. Shadrach, are you there, please? Can you introduce yourself? If Shadrach is not there. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. Can you introduce yeah, um, yeah, hello. Will I say evening or um, good day, everybody? I am um, Ben Shetak, a staff of an AFED for the Department of Department. Currently doing my PhD at the uh, University of Science and Technology, China, here in China. It's nice to meet everybody here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so at this time, I think if Bala is getting difficulty and uh, I don't know if he will be able to, okay, he's now trying to come, he has come back again. So we hope that he will uh, sustain. 
So, Bala, are you there? He has just joined now. Bala? Yeah, so please, uh, Bala, yeah. are you there? Yeah, I am here. Okay, the floor is yours. Okay, sorry, everyone. Um, right now, uh, so we, we have to, the next, the next section to be a practical. Hello? Yeah, before we go to the practical, uh, people had okay. been waiting, people had been waiting for you five to ten minutes. <laughs> So I sent you our apologies. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am very much sorry. I had some, uh, you know, I never use Zoom. So this is the first time I'm using Zoom. So I'm using Tencent. So this seems to be new to me. So I am very much sorry for this. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I am very much sorry. Yeah. So can we start the practical session now? Yes, of course. Go ahead. Okay, so the next uh, the next part should be the practical session after we install the application into our Microsoft Word Office. So now, if I have installed it and uh, I technically restart my system, so definitely I'm expected to see something like this. So you can see. Can you see my screen? Yes. We so can, can you see my screen? So this is a Grammarly. How to check so my document? Okay. We can see how if to check I, my. Document. So we are now at how to check my documents. How to check my document using yeah, Grammarly. We are there. We are there. So if you first of all, you will find it like this. Under the file, you will see Grammarly clearly written. So you will see the following icons displayed. You will see uh, adjust goals, goals. You will see all issues. You will see correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery, deactivated suggestion, plagiarism, login, settings, all about this kind of things related to Grammarly as we demonstrated in the PowerPoint. So from here, all you need to do is to click Grammarly. When you click Grammarly, it means that you activated these options. Uh, Dr. Bala, I think you, we are not uh, following you. We can only see the first page here, all of us. So Which page? We can only see how to check my document for plagiarism. Oh, okay, so it means I have to maybe uh, open please. it again. Yeah, yeah. So please. I am to open it again. Please. Share. Yeah. So can you see it now? Yeah, now we can see the Microsoft Word file. Okay, here, this is the Microsoft file. Everything we will practice now is on Microsoft Office. So uh, you can see this is the Grammarly, right? Yes. So uh, if you don't have premium, it will appear like this. All these options, most of them will be deactivated, first of all. So when you come to Grammarly, uh, here, if you click it, Grammarly, it will open all these options for you. This one, this one, this one, this one. So apart from them, uh, let me remove this. So apart from them, you will see the suggestion box here. You see them? The suggestion box here, Grammarly yes. written. Here. We can see, yes. So here it will give you, on this board, it will give you the suggestion. It will give you option. And uh, it is not compulsory for you to either accept it or to reject it. It's like a review of, uh, of, of manuscript. So this kind of things, when you activate it like this, so uh, the plagiarism is no longer active now because you only activated uh, all issues regarding to correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery, and they activated like this. So when you are cross-checking down, when you come to down into a manuscript like this, when you see suggestion, it will suggest like this. Everything you see here, when you click on it, it is telling you here, you see, it is clarity and readability. With regard to readability of this sentence that I have written, it's very hard to read for some, for some audience. So this is what it means. So when I come down closer, 
uh, when I click here, it will give me another suggestion that here I supposed to have add a comma somewhere and I didn't add it. So here you can click, you accept it, then it will correct for you. So when you come to here also, maybe if you wanted to do, you just click here, it will accept for you and it will do it for. So uh, if maybe I come to situation whereby it is, it is asking me to correct this and I wanted it to remain. So all you need to do is to come here. Uh, maybe uh, this is not complete. You see, if I don't want, I can dismiss. I wanted my things to be remain. So this is how, how you correct it. So when you come across all this, you will see that you have many issues, like 187 issues. Here, correctness, you have 111. Here, clarity, you have this. Hello? Hello, uh, we can hear you, please. And also for the information of all, I have made the settings such a way that people can unmute themselves. Though I have muted everybody, but I made the settings such that you can unmute yourself. This is just for, but please let us mute ourselves so that uh, this setting may not, I did that so that uh, people uh, cannot be like seen or recognized. So please let us mute ourselves, except when it is uh, necessary so we can, and if you have something, you can also write it in the chat, please. So actually, this is all about the correctness. Can you, can you hear me? So yes. this is all about the correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery for, with regard to this. So this here, it will give you the suggestion box. It's up to you to accept it or to reject it. So this is all about uh, uh, these tips. So you can make your writing as good as you want, depending on how you want it. So can we go to the next tips? Yes. Okay, so our next tips should be plagiarism. How can we check plagiarism using this application? So to check plagiarism also, maybe let me open one paper. Let me see which one, which one. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, which screen am I now? I changed from the word. Can you see that? Uh, no, uh, now you are in the world. What, whenever you open any file, you have to share it again, please. When you okay. open any file, I can see one of us also has suggested that. So whenever you All open right. any file, you have to share it again. All right. So now I am to open a paper that we will copy something maybe from that paper and then we cite it. Can you see the board? So now we can see your end not X7. We can see the paper, yeah, yeah, yeah. universal so, energy. So, so let's say I have a paper like this and uh, I found something very interesting, maybe in the abstract or in the writing body or somewhere else. So I, if I find it interesting, maybe I have to copy it somewhere. Maybe I copy this one. Let's assume that I am a lazy writer. So I just copied this information directly as highlighted here. When I highlight it, I copy it from this paper and then move to my word office. So I also have to stop from here. Maybe I have to go back to the word. So I'm going to the word office, MS office. So, can you see the word now? Yes, we can, we can see. So here I paste this information that I have copied from that, uh, that, that paper here. This is the paste information that I have copied. Can you see it? Yes. So can you see the plagiarism now? Yeah. I mean, I left that, uh, that previous section. I'm now into another, another page on the word. Is it okay? Can you see it? Now we can see your morphology and structural characterizations. A line strike through. Oh, no, it's not the one. Okay. I have to, I have to share the right one. Yes. This one. So here it is. Now, 
before I I own all issues, before it was all issues on, right? Yes, now we can see so, transition metal outside. Yeah, so before it was all issues on, now it is, uh, it, I'm going to own the plagiarism. Here is a plagiarism. Uh, you can see that. So that information that I have shown to you, that from that uh, nature paper, I have copied it directly and pasted it here. I think that I am a lazy writer. When I pasted it here, so if I own, as long as I left my plagiarism checker on, it will trace out which paper did I copy that information. When I click here, you can see that it already captured the title of this paper, right? Can you see the title of that paper here? Hello? We are with you, we are with you. So can you see the title of this paper? So this is the title of that yes. paper that I copied yes. that information from. So this is how we check plagiarism on it. When you are to check plagiarism, you have to deactivate these all issues. And when you are to check the correctness, you have to deactivate plagiarism issues. So this is how it is. So the other things, all the other things is up to you of being used to day by day. If you are used to it day by day, there are many things you can do. Like if you wanted to change that one, it's up to you. You have to rearrange this information the way you wanted it so that you avoid the plagiarism of this uh, uh, copy and paste. So this is how it works. So I think uh, we have finished the right, uh, the, 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 the required minute now. Maybe we have to wait for the question. We have to open the room for question and answers, right? Hello? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So this is all about it. So this is how you use a plagiarism checker. This is how you use the correctness. This is everything. Then all the other things is up to you as a writer to find the way of arranging your things in order. Thank you. So welcome. So I think we can open the room for more. Uh, questions, right? Thank you very much. Hello? <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, thank you very much. My name is Samir Abdullah. Uh, thank you for the presentation. It is really uh, educating. My question is, uh, when you are checking for that, is it clarity? I see that you to the grammar tries to uh, give alternatives in a situation where which the sentence maybe is too complex by the reader. And uh, I wanted to see that maybe select for that alternative to see how it will change it. Sabala? Dr. Bala?
Hello, Dr. Bala. Are you with us? I think uh, <laughs> we lost him actually. Yes, it's unfortunate, really, how it goes. Hey. Maybe we should wait for him. Yes, that's it. Uh, Abdul Mumin, I mean, Kai, come on, you have raised your hand, Ko. Yes, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. Actually, I wanted to ask a question, but uh, now, since he's gone, we'll have to wait for him to come back. Yes, ideally, we but, have allotted like five uh, minutes, I mean, 15 minutes to ask even questions. But uh, okay, okay. you can still write your questions in the chat. So we will, uh, okay, when, he, when comes, he comes back, when you he just comes, address yes, the question. You can just address the questions. If you have them, you can just type them. So when he comes, all right, I think that's okay. Address yeah. them. But it's so unfortunate that uh, if he were in Nigeria, I, I would say maybe <laughs> it's Nigerian nature. No, I think he's in. Ni I think he's in Nigeria. No, he because not. the last time he's not. He, is he in China? Yes, he's already in China. Okay, I'm also in China, but the network is okay. I know China has restrictions for some uh, yeah. apps, but I think Zoom is generally acceptable. And I'm working with Chinese network right now. So it's mm. very okay. I thought he was in Nigeria. Maybe it's a different location. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a different location, definitely. Hello? Yes, so Bala is back. Hello? Hello, Hello. Dr. Yes. Bala. Are you back? <laughs> Bala. Yeah, I can hear you. The problem, you people cannot hear me. <laughs> I think you have problem of mic, right? Definitely, maybe the problem because I'm using all the system. <laughs> you better buy a new one. Yeah. After this presentation. So oh, it's fine. You can continue. You better okay, buy a new one. Uh, actually, I am here in Beijing, central Beijing. So we are we are using much bandwidth. So <laughs> so the network continue. here is is not as good as. Uh, you can you can expect so and right now many people are using the network and the Beijing is the largest city you know due to the kind of congestion so I am so sorry for inconvenience <clears throat> so um, which question do I have to go first uh, have you are you now entertaining the questions are you ready to entertain yeah, actually, questions or which actually, you, you... Uh, I just listened to Saminu Saminu are you with me Yes, I'm with you. Okay. you are question like uh, you are asking me about uh, the suggestion given by the by the software itself, right? Yes, it's alternative in a situation whereby the statement is used is complex. So, uh, yeah, actually, actually, this application. Uh, when you can you see the screen now? Sorry, uh, Dr. Bala, have you finished the? We wanted it to be like you finish the presentation first, then we ask questions. Okay, I finished the presentation already. That's fine. Then we can ask already, questions in the chat. Yeah, so I, mean, I already finished the presentation. So there are many, many options on the chat. Hello? We, can, we are with you, we are with you. Okay, there are many questions on the chat. So which one do I have to pass? So uh, I'm... You, I'm trying to answer this question from Saminu. Saminu, the okay, question continue. here is, hello? Go ahead. Go Go ahead. ahead. Okay, yes. your question here is, when the, uh, when the software gave you option here, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. So here, when it gives you this option, it is telling you that you copy this work. You copy the whole of this work from this paper, and here is the website that you can detect this paper. Are you getting it? Yes. So it's up to you to change this work or it's up to you to reject it because uh, this is what we mean plagiarism. To tell you, you copy this thing from so so place, from so so place. So this is it. So I Can think this. You, okay. Hello? I, I hope. Uh -huh. yeah. What I'm asking is when in a situation whereby it, uh, it gives you an alternative that maybe the statement you use in your writings are too complex yes. for the reader, then yes. if you, you select the alternative, will it change the entire statement for you, you simply one? 
No, uh, sometimes it gives uh, suggestion, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it gives, let me switch up the, uh, this one and uh, activate the other options like this, right? Maybe, maybe like this. Can you see this easy? Yes, right? I can. The yes, AC can here. So you yes. see, maybe it is telling you that you missed to add article attached to it. The AC, right? So something right. like this. So or something here, you have written it like this. It gives you suggestion. You bet, can you select this one or this one? Right? It open room for many things. So it's up to you day by day when you are using them, you can be learning them one by one. So I think best of all, you have to install it. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay. uh, there are some questions that are asked in the chat. And also I can see people are raising their hands to ask questions. So uh, please, I suggest that, uh, can you just go quickly through the chats first, maybe, and see how you can answer the questions quickly. Then maybe those that want to speak, you can speak to them I, directly. I think due to, due to the kind of uh, 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 e network issue, why not to first attend the, the ones uh, right. in the communication? Okay, since they are, they are all here also, it's fine. They are all here. Please, uh, I will call those that raise their hands one by one so you can ask the questions whether you already typed or you can still ask again, please. So in the, what I mean by raising hands, please, when you go to the participant uh, tab, you can see manage particip uh, participants, there is raise hand. So you can raise your hand there, I will see. Currently, I have three persons. Lukman, Afolabi, Suleiman, and Umar Farooq Ahmad. They have raised their hands. So please, uh, when you raise your hand, I will just call you. Uh, Umar Farooq Ahmad, can you please uh, speak? Umar Farooq Ahmad, maybe it's not there, fine. So let's go to the next. Uh, Lukman, Afolabi. Lukman Afolabi. Hello. Yes, yeah, I, can you hear me? Yes, I, we can hear you. Okay, nice yes. to be here. And um, good evening, everybody, or good day, whatever the time is. So thank you, Dr. Bala, for the good presentation. It was actually very insightful. Actually, I've been using um, Grammarly for quite some time, but um, I didn't subscribe to the premium version. I only used the, the free version, which only allows me to just check, uh, make some grammatical correction, but I'm not able to use other um, functions as you have displayed them. So what I want to know is, um, how is it possible to, um, to have the full subscription? What I mean is this, if you know, uh, you know, sometimes when you buy Microsoft's office, there can be this um, group, what's it called now? Subscription key that can be shared okay. within person within different, so I don't know if Grammarly is also like this. If it is, then I think this can bring about an option for some of us that may be interested, you know, maybe two, three, four, five persons can come together and purchase this key, if it's possible like that. Thank so you. that's one. Then secondly is that, um, I don't know, maybe some of us missed, um, there was a notice from the FUD academic um, staff sometimes ago, many months ago, I can't remember precisely. I think our university currently has, um, in collaboration with plagiarismchecker.org, they subscribe for all academic staffs and then they've opened um, an account for everybody. I've been using that for quite some time now and I, I can share the link here. If you have any trouble, I think you can just contact the, what's it called, the ICT. They can help you open your account if you, I, I've just shared the link that's, now. That, so I've created so. my own. So I, I use that in place of, of course, you will all agree that um, Turnitin seems to be the, um, the best, but it's very expensive. Like the university has to subscribe to that, Turnitin. Thank you. But um, this plagiarism checker is also quite good, but not as strong as Turnitin. Mm -hmm. Because I've used Turnitin, I've so, used uh, this. Please, 
uh, we can limit our questions to maybe one minute so that everybody okay. can be able to speak. So, uh, all right, basically, just just what I have to contribute. And Thank ask. you very Thank much. You. Uh -huh. So, we have also with us uh, Suleiman. He raised his hand since Suleiman. Yes. Maybe we better be attending one by one, right? When someone asks to go. Yes. Uh, okay, you can answer him eh? if that's your okay. wish. Uh, am I am I with you, Dr. Lukman? Hello. Yes. Hello? Yes. Yes, you are with us, all of us. Okay, uh, Dr. Lukman, thank you very much for this great observation. Uh, long time. <laughs> so, uh, actually, uh, with regard to your question, yes. Uh, Grammarly is like uh, every subscription uh, option application. Two or three members can join hand and register one account, and they can share the login detail to be uh, as a as a single user. So this is affordable, and it even work in my case because like three of us have joined hand together to make a subs an annual subscription. And uh, right now, I am benefiting from that uh, group uh, joint account. So, and uh, with regard to uh, to that, uh, actually, I never had idea that FUD had such kind of things. Thank you very much. And in fact, we will we will join uh, you to tell us more about that. And uh, maybe in the near future, we can be able to benefit both of them. So, thank you very much. All right. Uh, thank you. And uh, next, we have uh, Umar Shehu. You can speak, please. Okay. Thank you for the time. It's just an observation because of the trade-off between the technology and our intellectual ability. Sometimes, if you go by the suggestion of the grammar, you'll be in a mess because it may entirely change the whole scenario in suggesting you and by printing the key, then it will change the entire narrative. So we should be very careful in using Grammarly. Sometimes it may give you a suggestion that may change the entire meaning of the paragraph because of the so many scientific terms that may be in your, in your text. It may suggest maybe you have excessively used a particular word and you can't deny using another word because if it's you know, relevant to a particular messages you are trying to send to that particular that particular maybe text you are composing so i use it for quite a long time but the subscription pieces me off you know it's quite expensive for me a lot to be within it but with the idea suggested that we more parts can share and subscribe to a single account i think it would be a very good development for me thank you thank you very much i think uh, this is also uh, remarkable that uh, we should know. I have also observed this the presenter. Sometimes it's not all the changes that you accept. You have to discard some and accept some. So it still requires uh, supervision. So we have another person also want to ask a question. Who is that? Uh, Ibrahim Garbashitu. Please, you can speak. Ibrahim Garbashitu. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we are with you. Uh, but Dr. Bala, thank you for the presentation. It's really a uh, nice presentation. My question is, uh, uh, my question is that when I try to download the Grammarly, but I found out that it is not free. So I have to use the the online form. So, but here I found out that you say you can download it. So can we have, if you download it, can we have all the features uh, active so that you can, because I found out that when you want to use the internet form, you can only do just for some few words. So, but here I found out that you say you can even check for the plagiarism. So, that's my question. And also, what is the limit of what that you can use in to check for the plagiarism? Uh, sorry, to check for, to, to uh, see your document uh, is all right. Thank you very much. So Dr. Bala, please, can you respond? Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, with regard to the first question, uh, thank you very much. Can you hear me? 
Yes, we are with you. Yeah, with regard to the first question, uh, thank you very much, uh, Esther, uh, from wherever you are. It is highly uh, grateful. A very good observation at the right time. Uh, I think uh, without going far, Dr. Woodill had already answered the questions because we are all writing scientific notations with regard to formulas, with regard to some namings, and uh, that one to so have to disregard it. Even some sentence, sometimes it will even suggest to you that this statement is too wordy. So it's up to you to, if you feel like it can give you some shorten, if you feel like it can give you some long. So there is option for you to, re to disregard and there is option for you to accept. So this is one of the things. So we have to be very careful. Thank you very much for, for this observation. And with regard to uh, Ibrahim Garbashi to uh, Doctor, thank you very much. How is Malaysia? So uh, actually uh, there is no limit for Grammarly uh, uh, words even whether it is trial version, whether it is a uh, subscription version. And to me, I will advise to you that first of all, try with the trial version, be familiar with it, know why do you need it. So when you finally decided on why do you need it, then you can think about, okay, let me go for subscription because due to that, it, it will even tell you, you yourself, you will feel convinced that you have to go for subscription because premium version, had so many packages that trial version does not have. And uh, uh, in the end, there is no limit. There is no word limit, whether it is trial version or it is a uh, uh, subscription version. So I think uh, that's all right. right. Uh, thank you very much. Next, we have Abdul Mumin I mean, You can go and speak, please, sir. You can go. OK, thank you very much, Dr. Bala, for the wonderful presentation. Actually, I tried to use Grammarly sometimes ago, but uh, when I installed it into my system, I noticed that uh, I thought that it's, uh, I have to subscribe before I use it, so I now just ignored it. But now I know I will be able to use it this way. But uh, what I'm not clear about is uh, can we, all the functions you mentioned, like the plagiarism check, can it work in the trial version? That is my only question. And uh, does it give a, uh, a percentage plagiarism just like turn it in and other uh, similarity check checkers? Does it? Okay, can I go ahead? Yes, 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 yes. With regard to your first question, uh, actually, yes. The trial version, why we encourage people to go with the trial version? Because first of all, I started with the trial version. And uh, okay. from the trial version, I, were, I was able to convince myself that, yes, I need this thing no matter how much it costs. So uh, because trial version, in trial version, you cannot uh, benefit from the plagiarism checker. Plagiarism oh, okay. checker is only for the subscription. So this is it. And there is no limitation for the word, whether it is trial version or it is uh, subscription version, no limitation for the word. And the most important thing is to understand how to plug it in into your word office. How to plug it, you don't do it separately. Plug it into your word office. Uh, so this is it. Thank you very you much, okay? uh, Dr. Bala. Let's see if we have another, we have, uh, Okay, Lukman Afolabi wants to speak again. Okay, Dr. Lukman, where are you, please? Can you speak? Okay, maybe we have lost him. Lukman Afolabi. Yes, we are with you. It's still no, no, he forgot to remove his okay, hand. Okay, all right. I forgot to remove my hand. <laughs> all right, all right. So next uh, we have, uh, is that okay? We have one person now. Umar Farooq Ahmed, are you still there? Perhaps it's, so I think uh, these are all uh, the questions we have. Maybe Umar is an old, uh, he raised his hand before. So perhaps this is the, if there is no other question, uh, we can call it uh, a day. And we have recorded the session. 
So we're expecting to upload it in the YouTube. Dr. Bala, before you go, do you have some final remarks? Yeah, actually, uh, um, my, my own text here is that uh, uh, since we are collectively using this and uh, in scientific way, first of all, we have to understand the way of writing down the information. So I think uh, uh, electronically writing the information, we need some kind of uh, strategistic patterns, uh, including softwares, including uh, some, 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 some kind of uh, logistic pattern things that can help us to stretching our way of writing. So our manuscript or our patent can be considered in the number of in the first front line of each and every uh, discipline that we are opportune to present our work to. So, and uh, with regard to that, most of us knew the influence of this thing. So, I think among ourselves, we can be communicating. What do you have that can, can be shared with you? What do I have that? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bala. I think we have uh, lost contact with you. But in summary, we have heard what you uh, said, and uh, it's about sharing of knowledge. And we're expecting this is just the first session. I know most of us, we have one or two things that we can share with others. So as time goes by, we're expecting to maybe invite one or two persons to deliver such uh, presentations. On behalf of the presenter and uh, the FUD academics in the diaspora group, I thank you all for attending and uh, I say see you again uh, in our next uh, session. Thank you very much.